Kitchen. My name is Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. And I live here in southeast coastal Georgia with my mom. Her name is Anne and my dog Cooper. Okay. My son is away at college and at the University of Georgia for biology. Today was the first day of school for Bryce. So, uh, or back to college anyway. I have one class today at 11 o'clock. He said he was going to call me, watch, watch him call while, while we're on a broadcast, right? So anyway, we're on the uh, HAPS app. The HAPS app is an app that you can share out to multimedia. We are actually sharing this up to YouTube. So if Bryce ever wants to see how to cook, he already knows how to cook a steak. Uh, he can see it on YouTube. Or you can uh, go into my Facebook VIP group or my business page on Facebook. Both of those places are being broadcasted too, as well as, well as Twitter and Facebook, all right? So uh, let me see, Bannerman's in the house. Bannerman, Bannerman, we're making steak. I already had the steak out, it is at room temperature. Do not put those steaks when you get them out of the refrigerator. Do not put them right on your grill. Make sure that they come to room temperature, okay? Because it's a lot quicker cooking when it's in the right temperature when they're at the at like room temperature, okay? Hello, uh, Jack's just subscribed. Jackie, my sugar plum. Jackie, my sugar plum, how are you doing there? Hello from Gulfport, Mississippi, where the oysters are fried there today. All right, so uh, we're just doing a baked potato, okay? We're gonna do some uh, steak. Now, this is a small steak. They're only like five, six ounce steaks here, okay? And uh, broccoli, just frozen broccoli. And I'm gonna do a can of mushrooms, okay? Because my mom likes the mushrooms. I like the broccoli, but I'll eat the mushrooms too, okay? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get the, we're gonna do the um, uh, potatoes uh, in the microwave and then I'm gonna throw them into the, into the toaster oven, uh, or the toaster oven, into the, yeah, you can throw the it in the toaster oven. I'm not sure you normally put them in. But I'm gonna put the air fryer and see if we can make them a little bit more crispy, okay? So let's get our stuff in place here. Hello, Nikki. How are you doing, girl? Happy, happy, Nikki. There you go, girl. All right, so let's get you over here. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to switch some stuff around here, all right, and we'll show you what we're doing. I'm going to put you over so you can face down because you all like it. Thank you so much for the high five award there, Nikki. Y'all like it when the camera's flipped over and you actually see the food rather than me, all right? So welcome, everybody. Let me put you over here. Now, this is going to be a pretty, brick, uh, pretty quick broadcast, and I got a cup of tea here, okay, because it's pretty chilly here in southeast coast of Georgia. For some reason, I can't get warm, all right? Drink up some light tea there. It's actually Anastet tea. Um, and I have our baked potato. Now, what we're going to do, our baked potato, we're going to stab our baked potato, okay? It just gives it room to grow and won't explode in your... Um, microwave and i just got a little knife right here uh better man thank you so much for the got talent award got talent there you know just because we learn how to cook doesn't mean that we got talent there all right so we're gonna put this over here i'm gonna spray some olive oil um on my plate i might I put it on the plate too all right so we got the kitchen spritzer we're gonna spray our all our our potato with some olive oil and just put it in the microwave now if you don't like the microwave uh, of course it doesn't want to come out today if you don't like the microwave, you can actually put it in your air fryer, or your toaster oven, your oven, and bake the potatoes. Okay, but I'm short on time. I don't want. I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time. See, it's spraying out. All right. So we're gonna get that and just coat it with your hands. Okay, get get that coated. Now, if you like salt, you can put salt on here, but we're not gonna put salt because. I don't really need salt. Okay, a light, um, a light amount of like kosher salt. Salt would be really good on this. Okay, if you want to bake them that way. All right. So we got that. Rinse my hands off. Cause I like to touch my food y'all. Okay. And we're going to put this in the microwave six minutes. Okay. Now it's probably going to take longer than six minutes, but we're going to try it for six minutes. Right. The next thing we're going to do is bring over and get our steaks. Okay. Now these are like five ounce steaks and they are at room temperature. Okay. They were frozen. I brought them out, let them thaw out. And then I just left them out and sit out. So they're nice and room temperature. We're going to use some seasoning. Okay. You can use salt and pepper. That would be great. But my mom, we have this um, signature season from Rastatelli, okay? That's a company that my mom got these steaks from on QVC. And you're going to just put it all over both sides here, okay? And we're going to spray a little oil on the pan and stuff. But we're just going to let this sit, all right? There we go. Turn it around there, okay? And turn it around. It has a nice little piece of fat right there. That will make, give it a nice flavor on there. Just because there's a little fat on there, actually, it does give it a lot of flavor, okay? You don't have to cut it off. All right. Good amount of seasonings already on here. Pat it dry. And again, nice room temperature steaks. Great, great, ready to go, okay? All right. So the longest thing it's going to take is our, is our um, broccoli over there. All right. So we got this ready to go. 
and I got a can of mushrooms. You can do fresh mushrooms, but if you don't have it, you know, you can just get canned mushrooms. You're going to use a can opener. Usually a can opener goes around this way. It's a smooth edge can opener and it won't hurt you. Okay. But if you have these pop tops, okay, my friend JFJ was opening up on these pop tops and it flew on him and it cut him really bad. He had to go get some stitches. So this little hook on the um, smooth edge can opener helps you open up these little, um, pop tops okay so just pull it up and then hold it pull it uh, if i can get it up there we go and you're gonna pull it right back up okay never have to touch that lid it's not going to fly away on you okay let me see if i can get that one off there we go all right i'm going to get a little strainer for this I'm gonna strain it out all right so this is a can strainer by pampered chef you can just put it right over it and strain out that liquid okay All right, there we go. Mushrooms are ready to go. Okay, mushrooms ready to go. So we're getting all of our miso en place together, which means everything in its place. I got my broccoli ready to go. All right, and we're gonna just kind of microwave that when those um, potatoes are done. I got some butter to put in my pan, and that's it. Look at that. Wow, we got our baked potato ready to go. It's, it's cooking. We got our, our steaks room temperature with the seasonings on it. Got the mushrooms opened and the broccoli is ready to grow. Now this broccoli is, I like the tiny heads of broccoli. I don't like the stalks of broccoli, y'all. I like these little head pieces here. So that's mostly all for me, all right? So let me say hello to everybody and see who where you're coming in from and say, hey, 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 it's Alexis is here. Uh, thank you so much for the, hey, Metal Balls, how are you doing? And thank you so much for the uh, Got Talent Award and the Stay Safe Award from It's Me, Katie. How are you doing? Where are you coming in from? And I got the high five from Nikki. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, it's so, I know, Nick, Nick, these Yankees need to take that cold weather back. That needs to go back up. Okay. Mama loves her. Key. My mother loves QVC, y'all. There's something, that, there's several things a week that come to our house from QVC. I tell you what, that postman knows us very, very well. Okay. So there's UPS and so there's Federal Express. Okay. Hello from Arkansas, Brenda. How are you doing, BJ? Uh, from Arkansas, down over in uh, Periscope land there. All right, so I am a Pampered Chef consultant, and uh, most of the products that, you, that I use right here are all Pampered Chef. And if you're interested in getting any of these to your house, please reach out to me. I would love to help you get them into your house. But better yet, I'd like to help you save some money and get them in there for, like, at least 10%, 30%, 50%, 60% uh, off. Yeah, or even free. Yeah, we can we get some stuff for free when you host a party, all right? Or you can actually earn um, money with Pampered Chef. That's what I do full-time. It's my full-time job, y'all, and I need your help, okay? So instead of going to those big stores and getting a pot or pan and you're like, man, I don't know how to use this, but Alexis shows us how to use our Pampered Chef stuff, you just come on over my house and I'll show you how, okay? Hello, Q uh, Metal Balls loves QVC too. Yesterday, no sun. I know, there's no sun here either. There was no sun up, in, up on the north side or the uh, southeast coast of Georgia here. Okay, high five, says Tinkerbell. High, high five, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Pampered Chef has some great cookware. Now, the cookware is slightly sold out right now because you all loved it during the spring, okay? That Germany couldn't keep up with us, all right? But it's coming back in stock for uh, host in February and also for everybody in March. So get your show on the road here and uh, and get it scheduled for March because I, I have a pretty good March stacked up here. But anyway, it's Pampered Chef. It's made in Germany. You can see the little thing on here. It does have like a nice bottom on here that uh, equally um, um, spreads the heat from the uh, from the stove. And then this is the non-stick one. This is a um, the grill pan, all right? And the grill pan has a, uh, look, the handle comes off, y'all. The handle comes off for easy storage. So now you're not like messing around with all the all the pots and pans. I actually have all the pots and pans in my, in my stove. I'll bring them out for you, okay? So here's all the pots and pans. And you can actually get, you can actually put them, stack them together, okay? If, you're, if your uh, pots and pans are not Pampered Chef, please do not stack them like this. Do not stack your pots and pans unless they are this wear pot, can, uh, a Pampered Chef non-stick cookware. Okay, the new line, all right? Why do I say that? Why do I say do not stack your pots and pans? I'm not a big air fryer for... I got a bigger air fryer for Christmas and my mom and I finally made, were able to make rotisserie chicken. Yeah, we can make rotisserie chicken in ours. Ours is pretty, but it's big enough to do that chicken in there too. 
Uh, did you clean it out really good afterwards? Because you really need to clean your air fryer, um, especially the, the fan above it. Make sure you learn how to clean that, okay? All right, so uh, my, my uh, potatoes are beeping at me, okay? I'm going to go over there and get the potatoes. So why, okay, so let me know. I don't know how many people are in here. Let me know why you would not want to stack your pots and pans. Why should you never stock your, st stack your pots and pans? Now, if you don't have these Pamper Chef pots and pans, I recommend stacking them with a towel between them. It could be a paper towel. It could be a washcloth. It could be a, a, any type of towel. It could be a felt between it, okay? Why would you want to do that? Yeah, I really cleaned the top. Good, okay. Let's see. Now, why Why would you um, want, to, want to not... Oh, look. Now, this is when you know it's done, okay? The knife goes in it nice. Like, this one has a little bit more to go, but that's okay. We're going to put it in the air fryer right now and let it cook in the air fryer, okay? Because now we're going to, let like, brown it off. Okay, let's put that in there. Woo. And woo. wow, got that. And cancel because I have it on air fry. Let's try 10 minutes. All right. There we go. All right. So scratch. That's right. It will scratch them. Keep calm, Pete. You are exactly right. Now, there's a one, one chef that I watched on uh, Paris, Periscope. He's also on Facebook. Uh, he actually wraps all of his pots, his pans, and he brings out a new pan for everything. I'm like, whoa and i saw him he had him wrapped it with saran wrap i'm like i don't have stock in saran wrap so put something between your pots and pans so they don't scratch because a lot of times it avoids the warranty when you scratch your pots and pans you're thinking that your husband did it or your kids came in and used a knife with it no it's because you're putting them together and they're rubbing the surfaces and then it wears down on that um teflon okay and it just scratches it this is four layers of titanium you're not going to get scratches on it and it's layers of stuff okay so let's um turn us around and let's get our stove going okay Whew, there we go all right let's flip around so let me know what are you having for dinner tonight what are you having for dinner tonight it is 5 41 and we're gonna we're having dinner on the dinner is gonna be done in a second or two okay because we're gonna get our pan nice and hot okay get it super hot we're gonna put some olive oil on here and some butter okay and we're gonna fry up my mom's first because she likes hers medium um medium to medium well okay i like mine rare medium rare <laughs> okay so we're gonna figure out which one's which we'll probably give my mom this one here and i'll take the thick one there okay so we're gonna put some butter put some butter in there all right and i get two little things of butter and this is where my points are going to come in each one of those steaks is about five ounces so it's about five points on my on my um, points for, for Weight Watchers. So let your butter melt a little bit and then we're gonna spray a little bit of olive oil right in there. Ooh. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Eh, gotta get some more into the into the thing. Uh, spaghetti says metal balls. What kind of steaks? You know what, they're like a filet and I don't really know. They came with, they came in a box. My mom has got them from QVC. Um, and so they're, they're really tender. I've had them before. We've had, uh, I sent two back um to uga with my son so that he can make it with him and his girlfriend and um oh that's it i gotta spread that out a little bit just spread that out just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit there we go all right and we get that one one cooking on here all right so spaghetti all right so are you having uh, marinara sauce with that spaghetti are you having meatballs or sausage with your spaghetti what are you having with your spaghetti okay and do you serve a salad with it? We, if we ate the salad, then my mom wouldn't eat dinner. <laughs> so it's, I'm just spreading the butter and the and the oil and getting this nice and hot, okay? So it could fit with that steak right there, all right? So get your pan super, super hot, and then you're gonna put your steak on it. Do not flip and flop your steak or any of your meat. Once you put your meat on the, on the element, leave it there, and you only flip it one time. One time, can you remember that? Okay, don't be coming in like, oh, I look like I'm a professional switching. No, just put it in there once, okay? So this is getting nice and hot. Let's just let it go for a few more minutes, all right? We're going to get that butter nice and brown on there, and it's going to really caramelize that steak a lot, okay? Uh, yeah, hey, Lisa, keep it calm. Peeps, how you doing? <laughs> Yummy. All right, so I think some of you, tell me where you're coming in from. What city or state and what uh, app are you using? I think you're on if you're in Periscope or Facebook, I forget which one's which on here. All right. So we got, uh, normally you are always sitting on my uh, wooden cutting board over there and then facing this direction, but we're on the opposite direction today. Okay. 
So this is should be nice and hot. Yeah, it's nice and hot. We're gonna put our my mom's steak in. And you can hear that sizzle. That's what you want to hear when you put your steak down. Okay. So I it's uh, 544. We're gonna let this go for about six minutes. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it. Right at about four minutes into it, I'm gonna add my steak. Okay, medium rare, please. <laughs> Okay, so how do you like your steak? Do you like yours medium? I'm like I'm there with you, uh, Lisa. Uh, keep it calm, peeps. I'm right. I'm I'm rare. Medium rare. Rare is fine with me. I don't like it anything over medium. Medium is like too tough for me. And you know what? The more I got educated into food, the um, the rarer the meat got. When I was younger, it used to be cooked all the way. And then when I went to uh, culinary school, I went to Johnson and Wales and I learned a lot of stuff there. I, and I'm not even a cook, you know, I went for hotel, restaurant, hospitality management, but we had to have a lot of culinary classes. All right. It was, uh, that was like pulling teeth for me. All right. Medium well, says Nikki. Yes, says uh, um, Lisa. All right. So we're going to keep that nice and down. So I got to read your name with your comments because on the other apps like Periscope, uh, YouTube, and Facebook, you don't see the um, comments that I see here on Hacks. That's H-A-P-P-S. You can download it in the App Store and sign up for it, and you'll see me more live here. Okay, I'm trying to share out to all the different platforms. All right, so now that we have this one going, we still have about three minutes before we put that one on. Not even three. We got, uh, yeah, three minutes, three minutes. Uh, vitamins get cooked out when well done. Exactly. Well done for me, says Brenda K. Shroud. Uh, I can't do the red stuff. I can do the red stuff, y'all. I can do the red stuff, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to put in, um, let me see, when, when it gets to um, 5.57. Now, I, I've gotten this down that I can, like, time it and say, all right, this is how much time I need on each one. And then we're going to um, switch out our plates because you don't ever put raw meat back on on a raw meat plate okay put the raw meat put meat on here and then go get yourself a new plate so that when this is done it needs five minutes after your um, meat is cooked to sit and rest so that all those juices get to rest and it gets nice and juicy okay so just let it sit let it sit do not touch it well and we're on medium heat here okay medium heat all right i'm going to add a little uh, once this says 557 i'm adding a little piece of butter here okay i'm going to take a little bit less of this butter that's a lot of butter for me there we go while we're talking just a little bit of butter okay yes i'm on periscope says lisa hello starla graves how are you are you over on periscope land also starla all right it is uh 557 and we're going to put some butter on here and we're going to just do mine on this one okay there Mm -mm -mm. Taste that butter, y'all. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on there. That's just a little bit. We don't need a whole lot. And I'm going to put my steak that's nicely seasoned right on there. Put the plate. All right, we're going to get a new plate out. My mom's up from her nap, so we're doing good. All right, let's take a drink. I am having uh, tea today. Wonderful tea. I tell y'all, that's really good. All right, hello, Starla Graves. How are you doing? I'm watching from Facebook. Oh, you're on Facebook. Okay, so uh, the light blue is Periscope, and the dark blue here on HAPS is Facebook. Okay, got you all. Thanks for that clarification. All right. So, oops, I put that on a little soon. All right. So, it is 5.58, and I'm only going to do mine for, like, five minutes one side, four minutes the other side. All right. We're going to need some tongs to flip these babies. Let's get our tongs out. Pampa Chef has two sides, sides of tongs. If you have big hands, go with the big one, but I like the little one. This is for, like, further reaching in of getting stuff. I like this one. It's, it's cute for my little hand, okay? All right. All these tools are available for sale, especially this grill pan, that, that nice little cutting board over here. It's all, it's all Pampered Chef, all right? I'm watching you from Facebook. Okay, you got that one. Let me see. I'm on Paris with this Lisa. And uh, what are you having for dinner tonight, Starla and Lisa and Brenda? What are you having for dinner tonight? Okay. 
and I'll read it out loud, okay? And let me know, if you if you are scoping, please put some emojis up so that people can see um, that you scope or broadcast if you go live somewhere. Put your emojis up so that we can follow you, okay? All right, nine, okay, this one's getting done. It's uh, 5.59, but I think I'm gonna let it go on for one more minute, okay? Let's see, all right. So what did you, did you do anything good today, anybody? All I know is getting a little anxiety with everything going on in the world, you know? Whew. All right. Still no comments on there. Wow. Where are y'all at? Let me know where you're coming in from. And if you um, actually broadcast your scope or go live, put your emojis in so people can follow you, okay? Pork chops and rice, says Brenda Stroud. I got some pork chops for um, from every plate that we need to cook up. Um I actually cleaned out all my, my paper over on the other side. The, the pork we're going to do is balsamic leaves, pork chops with potatoes and um, zucchini. Okay. That's a that's a really uh, nice menu by every place. All right. So it is um, 5.50. I'm going to flip this one over. And you can see how nice and charred that is. Okay. And I put that one on at eight minutes after. Now, this one needs to go for another five minutes. And this one, not that long. Two, about two minutes after. And my potatoes are all done. All right. Now we ha we don't have that humming going on in the background. What temperature is stove? And I the temperature on the stove, it doesn't really gauge it on the stove. I have it on medium. Uh, medium, medium right here. Like, right. Let's see if I can zoom you in. Right there. Uh, uh, can we get you in there? Right there. Oop, that's off. There's the medium one, medium heat, okay? Maybe even a tad little bit higher than medium, all right? So it's just on medium heat. And look at that steak now. Whoa. Man, that's looking nice, y'all. Okay. Ah. There you go. So that steak is nicely cooking up. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so two minutes after, I'm going to flip mine. Hey, Aiden, thank you so much for the high five award. Sorry, didn't your notification. I sent you one. What temperature? Okay, we got that. Yummy. Yeah, this is looking really good, y'all. And then we're going to saute up our, our um, mushrooms in there. Okay, we're going to put a little more butter in the pan, which we got a lot of butter going, but, you know, that buttery mushrooms are really, really good. All right. All right. Hey, yeah, I know this is really good. This is um, five points. It's very, very lean. Um meat except for this one here it has a little fat on it um so probably about six points on these all right hey cheryl frazier how you doing cheryl what you up to uh did y'all know oh my gosh y'all this is the first time i'm going live today besides the uh virtual party i'm in um all right now if i go one more one more minute it's pretty thick all right but our friend um karen uh Pedersen, she's on facebook or she, yeah she's on facebook and she's also on uh, Periscope, Karen, if y'all know her, her husband passed away with COVID on the 9th and she just let us know on Facebook this morning. It was pretty sad. So I sent her our condolences, uh, my condolences. Okay. Hello, Mary Mary. How are you doing? Hello, Facebook user. All right. Hello, uh, Glenn Travels, the one moonbeam. Hello, Sherry. Wow. Buy me a cup of coffee, Cheryl. Wow. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to flip this now let it go one more minute, one more minute. So it says three minutes after. Okay, three minutes after flipping it. And you can see how nice and, and charred that is, okay? So this one's gonna be more medium well, medium, medium, and this is gonna be medium rare, okay? So this one goes for another two minutes, all right? And then I'm gonna take it off. And this one's for about two or three minutes, all right? And I don't mind if it's rare. I do not mind if it's rare, okay? And I know my mom, if it's still pink, because she's probably only going to eat half of this. That's fine, too. All right. So we're going to get our lid out. Okay. I'm going to get my stock pot lid. Let me get that out there. Okay. And I'm actually going to put this over my meat. So when it sits out, it's just going to rest. But we're going to keep it nice and moist in there. Okay. Get that out. All right. And it is going. We've got two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Hey, Missy, Miss, Missy Mouse. How you doing, girl? Hello, Brenda. That is so sad. I know. Karen. Karen, do y'all know who she is? She's up in New York. She lives up in New York uh, City area. And, uh, yeah, her husband passed away from COVID uh, on the 9th, y'all. 
it's sad. <sighs> you know, when will this all end? When will it all end? It just seems like it's getting worse and worse, you know. But I'm doing my best. I'm doing my part, staying home, wearing a mask out, washing my hands, um, trying to limit my going out to grocery stores to once a week. Hello, lovey Sandra. Thanks for coming in. No, thanks. No bluff for you. You're having my mom's one then. <laughs> hey, Sandra, how you doing over on Periscope? I actually like watching haps on Periscope, even though you don't see the comments. I can go out of the app and just listen to the person and say, oh, she's done. Let me see the final picture on it, you know? Yeah, it has to be a little bit more done on this one. I see the, the pink right here. Okay. All right. Uh, 2023. <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> Don't you wish you could just fast forward to 2023 and just just go back and review? Isn't there a movie that was like fast forward where the guy just sped through his life? The Clicker, I think it was called Clicker. Was it with, it wasn't with Nicolas Cage, I forget who was in that movie. Uh, we will get through this. Yeah, Aiden, we will. How can you go out on, go out on Periscope? Oh, it just means you just swipe out you just swipe out the app, but you have the app on. You have the person you're listening to the person to swipe up and it keeps the broadcast going. You can hear them. You just don't have to watch what they're doing. And then when they're doing something, you swipe back in and say, oh, yeah, I see it. The only thing is you can't see any comments. Hello, Tanya. See, Tanja, how are you doing from Modesto? Is that Modesto, California? How's your day been, Alexis? My day went by pretty fast. I didn't get my my contacts in if anybody wants to call me after dinner raise your hand and i'll call you or you call me i need to get 20 contacts in i did have okay so i have this new thing going on and i think this is this is done yeah okay this is done i'm going to turn this off for a sec and mine see how nice and juicy this is this is like really like pushing in your hands like here this means it's medium medium rare okay when it's over here or up here this is well done this is more like i forget which one it is but the softer one the the softer it is like this is more more firm it's not going down see how that's not going down that means it's more well done okay this one is i'm going to show you the back side it's also done so we're going to let these rest and this one's like more pushy like you can see the give on this okay all right we're gonna put that over there put the, put the lid on it and just for five minutes we're gonna just let that sit let me see if i can get you down further you see how that we're just letting it sit for five at least five minutes now this bottom here has all of the font which is the browning from the meat and we don't want to lose lose this we also have butter in here and we also have a little bit of olive oil we're actually going to put in a little bit more butter okay just a little bit and we're going to add in our mushrooms from the can okay yeah. Okay. Um, I still again. Where's Cheryl? Where's Cheryl? Polish princess when I need her. Remember, I used to turn the stove off and do pancakes, and I forget to turn it back on. She's turn the stove back on. All right, so we're just gonna let this saute up. Okay, they're just they're already cooked, so all we're doing is heating them up, and we're getting that butter and olive oil involved in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of, of um, sour cream in here and just make it more of a creamy sauce and uh call it a day so this is where we're going to add in some more salt and pepper okay to this because they weren't seasoned all right salt and pepper yep and i get a little bit of sour cream in the sec all right now my broccoli is ready to go we're going to put this in the microwave and just microwave it okay So that I know how much I'm putting in here. I'm just gonna put in like one tablespoon of sour cream, okay? Yeah. One good tablespoon of sour cream. All right. And again, you can have your mushrooms sliced up already, like uh, fresh mushrooms into these. But this is like this is nice, y'all. Oh man, this is looking really good. Just a little bit of sauce in there. Oh my god, this is looking so good. My mom's gonna love this, okay? And I'm gonna heat up just a little bit of sour cream in there. Yep, if I can get it in. There we go. 
it is going to be decadent. All right, I'm going to turn off my stove because I don't need any more heat, okay? And I'm just going to mix this all together with the, with the beef drippings and butter and our cream, and we are all done, okay? Oh, oh my God, y'all, this is, like, so good. All right. All right, so it's just olive oil and the butter down here with salt, pepper, our canned mushrooms, and just leave it there, okay? Doesn't that look good? I gotta put this down on, on you a bit further up. There we go. There it is. Okay. All right. Let me see what you say. I gotta go. Five minutes. Bye. Bye, Aiden. Love the new view. Hi, Alexis. Hey, Latanya. How you doing, girl? Uh, let's see. Oops. And then Tanya C. Up. Oh, cancel. Uh, Latanya. Hi, Latanya. I'm Ta Tanja too. There you go. This is my first time on this platform. I'm so lost. I know it is totally different, Tanya. It is so different. Um, just coming live is different. Even the view from from um, has a has a viewer is is a little bit weird. <laughs> but we're getting used to it. We're getting used to it. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do. I got that. We got our steaks sitting over there. My broccoli's all done, and now it's plate up time. All right. And I'm gonna got my plate. Do one plate at a time, and I'm gonna show you how to open up a baked potato okay let me get that bead down there we go actually maybe a little bit more up Ooh, there we go all right so we got a plate right here and i always use a nice size plate if i had a big plate these these things are going to look really really small but with this small little plate all right uh it's going to look like i have a lot of food all right and our eyes deceive us all right so this one here is seven inches it's seven inches square now if i were to use a big plate okay uh, let's use this or this. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna kind of look well this one's about the same size, but I like using the color plate. But if I was to put it on here with my baked potato, my um beef, and then the mushrooms and broccoli, it's gonna look like I don't have enough food on there. Okay. It's because our eyes deceive us, all right. And this is the correct portion sizes that you actually need. All right, let me get this out. We're going to get a baked potato out. I'm going to show you how to open up a baked potato. All right, so a lot of people just cut it right in half, and they're doing it. If you want it to look really, really fancy, what you're going to do is you're going to go right down into it and do an X. Okay, there we go. And then you're going to do another X. Now, this takes a little bit of... Um, pinching and it's a little hot so if you have to get like um napkins then do it with napkins so x and then crisscross again so you have like eight cuts or four cuts in here one two three four okay and what you're going to do is you're going to pinch it up from the bottom up okay you're going to pinch it from the bottom up and it makes a nice little whoops keep going there we go so you have it nicely puffed up, all right and then you can put your butter or whatever else you want in there all right so we're going to get our broccoli out there we go all right and i'm going to put my my steak on here all right it's been five minutes we're going to do this one for my mom there we go and we're going to put some broccoli in for her all right there and always put the the ones on top so it looks really pretty okay just artic articulately <laughs> artistically put this on here all right and then we're gonna put our mushrooms right on top okay there we go just like that and give her some more mushrooms on the side and some on the top and voila we got our plate and we're gonna put some butter in here because she takes butter on hers I don't take butter on my um, potatoes I just I put a little bit of sour cream in there I measure out my sour cream and I use it with that. Okay, so here's my mom's plate ready to go. All right, the next one we're gonna do is my plate. All right, and when I get done, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Let's get this one out. Again, here's my baked potato. Oh, just put that over there. Make a nice little X. All right, do an X again. X, X. All right, and I'm gonna push it right up. We go Ooh. nice all right let's put all the broccoli right on here i'm not coming in for any extras all right there i'm gonna try and put the heads up first okay there and i'm gonna get the meat now there is a little blood on the side so we're gonna put this on 
on our steaks. Okay, that's just the juice from the from it. All right, I'm gonna put that right on there. I may lose some of you on that, but don't want anything to go to waste. All right. Here we have our mushrooms, and this looks like a huge plate. Okay, <laughs> looks huge. There we go. I'll leave some of the plate. All right, and voila, we have our dinner done. All right, so let me flip us around and say goodbye and do our final shot. Okay, if you find value in any of my uh, scopes, you can actually reach me on um, social media. Uh, I have a link, and this is my link. It's a link tree link, and you can find me join my Facebook group. You can do the um, Pamper Chef catalog. Uh, link to order is all on my link, and I'm going to put it in here in the live chat. It is dot dot dot. There we go. There's my live chat. Okay. So let me go back and read your comments. And then I got to go because dinner's done, y'all. Okay. Bye, Cheryl. Okay. Hey, KD Hearts. Thanks for coming in. How did you cook the potatoes? All right. We did six minutes in the microwave and then we finished it up in the air fryer. And they are like nicely done. They're they're perfectly cooked. And I showed you how, how they, they can do it. The more potatoes you put in your, uh, in your microwave, it may take you a little bit longer. Okay. To cook it up. All right. This looks delicious. Okay. Wait, I need to eat on a smaller plate. Yeah. Eat on a smaller plate. So it, it tricks your brain brain into eating like, man, I have a lot on this plate. Okay. Um, and we got two plates here. Let me get the other one over here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Look at that. And we saw how we put, push them up. That one's actually perfect over there. All right. With the, um, thing. let's do our steak up first. All right. I, I can get a knife and cut this up and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside, but you'll probably say, Oh, it's not done enough. Let me see if I can cut this one up. I can't cut it with one hand y'all. It's not cutting very well y'all, but it is very rare. Okay. So it is pink on the inside on this one. I don't have a steak knife either. Yeah, it's nice and pink on the inside. Let me put you back up on this on the uh, camera. And uh, oh, hold on, on the there. And I need a fork and a cup. I usually cut my mom's food up. Uh, this one's mine though. All right. Yeah, it is rare. Mine's rare, and my mom's hers over here is should be medium. Medium, uh, medium to even medium well. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and see hers is perfectly medium. There's a little bit of pink on the inside. Let me get this down. There we go. And again, you just have to get into the timing of it. There's hers. Okay, hers is medium, definitely medium all the way. So she's gonna be very happy with that. Okay, mine's mine's medium rare. All right. So we got that. We've got that one and we just need our final shot okay let's put that push that one over there we go there and we'll push that one there mine's on the back side versus on the front and we are all done for this evening if you find value please reach out to me the link is in the in my profile in the post okay and uh i'll see y'all next time all right thanks for coming in I love, I said, well, I love the bloody, bloody mines over here. Mine's very, very rare on the inside. It's very pink. Okay. Uh, Tanya, see ya. Hey, patio. Catch the reply. Yes. Bon appetit. Banner man. How are you doing? All right. That's it. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.